space. Okay. okay, hi everybody, my name is Ilian. I'm from Tech Spaces and uh, I present to you uh, how you can connect uh, Tech Spaces, uh, or how can, you, how can you use Oakland and Tech Spaces uh, as an Evernote alternative. Um, okay, Evernote, uh, how many of you know already Evernote or OneNote? So, okay, there are plenty of it. Uh, so what we basically need is uh, a way to organize and to browse uh, and create content. We also need some kind of syncing of this content across many devices. Uh, we have also to find a way to access this the same content on, on many platforms. And um, one very important thing is, of course, uh, providing a web interface to this content and, of course, capturing uh, and uh, collecting the content. Um, before I start as, uh, to propose a solution, I will just uh, briefly introduce what is TaxSpaces. It's an open source project uh, and platform for, uh, platform for managing, managing digital artifacts. It lets you organize and uh, tag and find your files. It's basically a file manager which is running um, offline on our system. It's a project started by me in 2013 in Munich. It's a GPO license, and it's basically built in HTML5, JavaScript, Cordova, and NodeWebKit. Um, how does it look like? Uh, you have, um, the screen is, um, have three parts. Uh, on the left part, you see the collection of text uh, you have. In the middle part, you see the list of your files. And on the right part, you see the currently open file. So it's um, basically very um, <clears throat> similar to what Evernote uh, is offering. Um, and now I'm just um, um, trying to, to, to tell you briefly how can you organize and uh, browse your uh, files and create content. Um, I'm proposing just to use, uh, thank you, just to use um, um, your file system as uh, a way to, to structure your files with appropriate uh, folder structure. TextSpace is, is providing a way to create and edit uh, text uh, files, markdown files, and HTML files. Um, you can also add uh, text um, to these files. It's uh, done a very, not very easy way. You just add uh, the text uh, in uh, uh, brackets after the name of the file. This has many advantages, like uh, findability. You can easily find um, the files with uh, your operating system capabilities. And you don't, don't need a database uh, for, um, for storing this, uh, this meta information, so you're not uh, vendor locked, uh, and your content is will be then accessible and visible in 50 years. Thank you. <clears throat> and it makes also very portable the information, so it can be, it can be easily synchronized between devices. How can we do this then? So, I'm of course, using OnCloud uh, for syncing uh, my data because, uh, across these devices. Um, and, um, uh, of course, but I, I can also, or every other platform like BitTorrent, Sync, Dropbox, and uh, Google Drive. Um, and um, how I have done also um, uh, integration of uh, OnCloud with uh, text spaces in so called WebDAV edition. Uh, and uh, I'm going to present this uh, in a workshop today afternoon, uh, just present, present the technical part of it, how this integration was done in, on the JavaScript uh, level. There's a workshop uh, held by me at uh, 5.30 today afternoon. And TechSpaces offers uh, clients, uh, which are native clients, for many, plenty of platforms like uh, Windows, like Mac OS, like uh, Ubuntu Linux, uh, like Android. Firefox and Chrome. And um, what you can do with this, um, um, I'm uh, proposing uh, also uh, to, uh, for the collection of, uh, the, of the files, I'm proposing the use of the, a the M M HTML, HTML uh, file format, which is basically a file format um, um, where you can save in one file all the HTML file, all the JavaScript, and all the CSS and images into one file. So it's um, very portable and um, um, very easily distributable across uh, devices. So that's for me. Thank you for your attention and hoping to see you later.